Hello world. A while ago I uploaded a video about my voxel destruction system I made in Unity. A lot of people wanted a tutorial, I'm almost two years late, but here you go. God I'm so lazy. As someone pointed out in the comments, it's not really advanced because there are still floating parts and you're right, it's not advanced at all, I just said it for views. Anyways it's still kinda cool so I thought I would share how I made it. So make a new project in Unity and import the FPS controller from the standard assets package. Then make a queue. Now let's destroy it. First I'm going to make the player shoot destructive balls. Create a script called shoot and give the projectile some velocity. Now let's create a sphere and save it as our projectile prefab. Add the script to the player. Assign the variables and bam, now we shoot balls. Amazing. Nothing happens when I hit the cube however. Let's change that. First I need to rebuild the cube out of small pieces. That sounds time consuming. Let's do it with code instead. Because that's easier, right? Simply start by making a script called destruction and making a game object that will build our cube. Then we measure the scale of our cube. And when we hit it with a projectile we want to create all the individual pieces. I'll do that in the create cube function. Then we have to make a for loop in a for loop in a for loop. Never mind maybe this is advanced after all. Basically, we create all necessary pieces for every axis. Now let's just take a normal cube and make it a prefab. Then we add our destruction script and the cube prefab and set the scale to 0.3. Looks like it actually works. Still nothing happens if we hit the cube. We're going to need one last script for the projectile. So when we hit the cube we'll add a rigid body and an explosion force to the prices. This will make all the pieces fly away or fall down when you hit them. Let's go to our projectile prefab and add our collision script. Decide the blast radius and explosion force. Also set the explosion layer to cube. In the cube prefab set tag to box and layer to cube. That's it. We should be done. Oh no. My computer crashed. Let's try that again. There we go. The system is very unoptimized at the moment which I really want to fix, but that's for another video. Because of the way I made this I can change the size of the cube and the pieces in the inspector and it changes automatically, which is pretty cool. I also added some particle effects to make it look even better. It could definitely be improved upon, but I still think it has a lot of potential. Let's make a bigger explosion. even bigger. I need to stop this video now before my PC explodes. Hopefully this was helpful or entertaining. Thanks for watching. Smash like or I'll kill you.